Hello, my friends. Welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop Effects series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create this glass poster effect inside of Photoshop. Yes, the glass poster effect inside of Photoshop, right? So if you have not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos I'll be dropping after this time around. Would I have to say much? Let's get right into it. So the first thing I like to do is these are the images. They are in the link to download all of this is in the description of this video. So do well to get yours. So I'm just going to drag this and um, place inside like this. But a couple of things, since I want to post this on Instagram, I'm just going to click on crop and I'm going to make sure I have this option selected 4x5, that is 8x10. Uh, 4 by 5 square ratio and I'm just going to move it upward like this with my mouse or my arrow key and um, when I get the location I want click on this arrow to crop it like this easy peasy right and I'm just going to start working with this I'm going to convert it to smart object like this and I'm just going to go over to filter camera raw filter and I'm just going to make it pop a little bit um texture and um clarity now note that this might differ with the image that you are using so i'm just increasing the texture and clarity because i'm using this image right so convert to small object and duplicate it Ctrl j and with the duplicated one i'm going to blur gaussian blur and i'm just going to reduce this this way like this and click ok go over to filter and i'm going to go to filter gallery Inside here, make sure you copy my settings, distortion, smoothness, scaling, and everything stays the same. And make sure you are using um, the glass that I'm using to the same one, right? I'm going to mask this out and I'm going over to my brush, select the brush, and I'm just going to, my flow is set to 52 because I don't want it to be too sharp. All right, make sure you are using, uh, you can reduce the size of the brush there. Make sure you are painting on the mask, right? Yeah. So when you do this with your brush selected, gently reveal the areas you want to reveal. We're going to reveal these areas here like this and um, like this also. Okay. So I'm going to reveal these areas like this. There you go. And um, yeah. A little bit of in these areas also and um, yeah so i'm just going to um having done this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over to my text uh, type this out i'm just going to drag and drop it inside here like this and um, drag and drop inside so professional beauty savage beauty and some of the writer of beneath it right Turn it off and I'm going to make a snapshot of the whole layer. Country Shift, Alt and E. Country Shift, Alt and E. And I'm going to convert it to a smart object. I'm going to change the blend mode to pin lights. So it's on top of the text. So while it's there, selecting the layer, I'm going over to my rectangular marquee tool. I'm just going to draw a marquee somewhere around here like this. And Immediately I do that, I'm going to click on mask and this is how I created this effect like this. Alright, so I don't want it to be on the Savage Beauty itself. So I'm going to um, click on the mask, select my brush and I'm going to erase this. Make sure your foreground color is set to white. Uh, no, not white, black, sorry. And um, you can clean it off like this. You can see that the entire text is not white. So I'm just going to change that, click on text and I'm going to change the blending option to, I'm going to um, color overlay, set it to white and click OK. Right. So you can see that that has been fixed. Right. Great. So um, I'm going to go to the first layer, which is this one here. And I'm going to make a snapshot of the entire layer. Ctrl Alt Shift E again and convert to smart objects. Right? So this time I'm going to Ctrl T to transform it. I'm going to reduce the size like this and not too much, somewhere along this line like this. And uh, 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create adjustment layer here on saturation. I'm going to reduce the likeness like this. And also reduce the saturation for this one also. And I'm going to come to the reduce the likeness. Select this layer and uh, blending option. And I'm going to add stroke to this. Make sure you use my settings. Size 3, outside normal, opacity 100. And white, please. And voila. This is how I created this glass poster inside of Photoshop, right? So I can easily reduce or increase this if I want to, but I'm going to leave it just the way it is like this. And there you go, guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and um, you can also share too. Sharing is good, right? Until I see you in the next video, make sure you subscribe and your notification is turned on. Love you guys.